So today's class I am going to explain about Young's modulus of non-uniform bending by using pin and microscope. So we are going to measure uh, Young's modulus by using the formula Q is equal to mg d cube divided by 4 b d cube y. Here m is the mass of which shift is produced so it will, it will be discussed later. g is acceleration due to gravity, l is the length of the bar between the two knife edges, b is the breadth of the bar actually the breadth can be measured by using vernier caliper and d is the thickness it can be measured from screw gauge and o is the depression produced for the mass which we have chosen so by using these parameters we can measure young smallness of the given beam by using a non-uniform bending mode so uh, here mass of shift produced uh, that is actually we have uh, used um, uh, different masses it can be vary from um, n plus 250 so we have choose the weight accordingly so now we can see the arrangements so we have to take the beam beam here as a one meter scale so it will be balanced by using a knife edges so like this we have to balance equally okay that is we have to put the knife edges uh, sorry we have to fix the knife edge so in the upper portion of the knife edge we can fix and the center part we have to hang over the weight so in the upper part of the weight the pin is uh, placed so by using a traveling microscope we can uh, focus the pin like that that is inside the microscope we can view the horizontal and vertical line so the pin should be focused like this then only if we add the weight the pin will be shifted for every weight so we have to note down so for every weight the pin will be shifted for every uh, shifting we have to note down the MSR and VSE from the upper portion that is in the horizontal portion we have to take the reading from the traveling microscope as already know how to take the reading and for finding the breadth we have to use vernier caliper so we have to find the breadth of the scale by using a vernier caliper it is about 2.5 the main scale reading is so likewise we have to take the five different trials and also the thickness is measured by using a screw gauge we already know how to take the readings from vernier caliper and screw gauge from the previous videos. Here by using a vernier caliper the breadth is measured. Then uh, we have to look down the tabular column. Here when the weight is increased then automatically the shift is having that is uh, the pin is uh, shifted from its uh, equilibrium position so for a w that is in the hanger itself it is having the weight that will be taken as w then for every weight it will be taken as w plus 50 100 150 250 150 200 and 250 for every weight we are taking main scale reading and vernier scale coincidence so for loading unloading we are taking that reading and also for 150 uh, dip 150 gram depression we are going to take for y value then after that after taking the depression for 150 kg that is it is subtracted from uh, w uh, minus w plus 150 that is from uh, the reading of w and uh, the w plus 150 will be subtracted that will be taken as depression value for every 150 difference it will be measured like this then everything will be substituted here the formula then we have to measure the value of the Young's modulus of the material of the given bar like this actually the formula is uh, mg l cube divided by 4b d cube y for y we are having only the three values because we are finding the difference between w to w plus 150 then w plus 50 to w plus 200 so this is the experiment thank you thank you for listening